Hello everyone, today we are going to be learning how to make a character sprint in Game Maker Studio 2. So to get started we have our normal basic sprite right here, and when he starts moving he turns red, and when he starts sprinting he turns blue, uh, and then back to red if he's walking again. This is fairly easy to implement, but I'm going to show you how I did it right now. Alright, so this is assuming you've already made your character object, which I have, and I am now inside of my character object. So first we're going to make a create event, and then we're going to go into it, and we're going to add a sprint equal to false. So this is just making a sprint variable and setting it to false. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the actual movement. So if keyboard check uh, ord d, capital D, sorry, uh, and then curly brackets. So if the d key is checked, we need to do x plus equals 6, which is just kind of setting the movement. Now we're going to add an if statement within this if statement for our sprites. So we're going to do if sprint equals false. We need to change our sprite index uh, equal to character sprite red, which is our walking sprite. Uh, next, what we're going to do, we're going to do if keyboard check and then uh, released. And then we need ORD D again. So if the D key is released, we need to set our sprite sprite index equal to character sprite green. Sorry if I can type today. Sorry guys. So uh, we have it. If the D key is released, it will change our sprite back to green. Next, we're going to do our... Um, if keyboard check released and we're going to do our shift key so that's vk l shift and then a curly bracket and then this and we're going to do our sprint equal to false and we're going to do our sprite index equal to character sprite red so basically once the left shift key is released it will uh, change our sprint to false and our character sprite to red because this is assuming the character will be walking and such like that. So now we're going to actually have our sprint um, kind of event. So if keyboard check uh, ord d and then we need two and symbols. Uh, so this is basically if these two keys are checked at the same time, if they're both being activated. Um, so we have our if our D key and our left shift key are both being pressed at the same time, X plus equals seven. So that's just, you know, one more pixel than when he's walking, which doesn't seem like much, but when we're on a small room, it is. And we're going to change our sprite index equal to character sprite blue. And then we're going to set sprint equal to true. Now, if you want them going the other way, uh, we're just going to copy and paste this and then change some things around. Uh, I'm not doing up and down, but if you wanted to, it'd be fairly simple to do. So we're going to go through and we're going to change all of the D's into A's. And we need to change the plus is the, all the plus signs to negative signs uh, because it's now moving the other way. And there we go. So we now should have, when we run it, it moving left and right. Let's find out when it all compiles. Yep, so we have our character moving. We can make him sprint. When he's walking, he's red. And um, when he's sprinting, he's blue. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I also have a Twitter and a Discord. Both are great ways of contacting me. All the code is in the description below. So if you're having any problems, you can copy and paste that in. And uh, if you're still having troubles, let me know and we'll see what's going wrong. Thank you for watching, make sure to hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.